After repeated requests to meet Imran Khan were denied, Pakistan Tehrikin Saf will march to the capital Islamabad on Tuesday. The party's Punjab president, Hamad Azhar, emphatically announced the protest on Sunday in a video message. He called on party office bearers, ticket holders and the public to join the protest rally. Mr Khan has been held in isolation inside Adiala Jail, where meetings between his family and lawyers have been completely banned. There are fears amongst party supporters that his health may have deteriorated. Mr Khan has not been heard from since October 4th. Imran Khan Khan has repeatedly stated that should anything happen to him, the country's de facto ruler, Chief of Army Staff Asim Munir, will be responsible. The sisters of former Prime Minister Imran Khan were sent to a remote prison in Jehlam in the Punjab province where they were shifted from Adiala jail, the same prison where Imran Khan is being held in. Pakistan's military government has arrested all but one member of Imran Khan's immediate family. Alima Khan and Dr. Uzma Khan were arrested last week from Islamabad where they were protesting along with thousands of Pakistanis against a proposed constitutional amendment which would give legal cover to abductions and enforced disappearances by Pakistani security forces. Lawyer for the family, Faisal Farid, said in a tweet that family members were barred from meeting them. A distracted Pakistan is all set to host the Shanghai Cooperation Organization Summit in Islamabad. Local media has reported on the arrival of dignitaries from India, Russia, China, Iran and Kazakhstan. The important regional summit is taking place in the backdrop of political uncertainty and lack of confidence in Islamabad by the founding member and the quote-unquote ironclad ally China, which recently barred its citizens from traveling in Karachi and Balochistan. Pakistan has failed to secure Chinese workers and investments in its southern provinces, as its security forces, controlled by the powerful military, is mired in internal political strife, trying to contain the country's most popular political party, Imran Khan's PTI. Fifteen police officials in Pakistan's Punjab province were dismissed from service by the military government after their refusal to crack down on peaceful protesters in Islamabad. According to Pakistani newspaper Dawn, quote, the authorities wanted to teach them a lesson, unquote, by removing them from service. Analysts have said Pakistan's security and administrative apparatus is exhausted after having failed to stop protests by citizens and supporters of Imran Khan, the jail former prime minister. Just last week, one police official died from tear gas shells fired by his own force while dozens of others were injured. An Israeli air attack on tents for displaced Palestinians inside a hospital complex in Gaza has killed at least four people and wounded at least 70, many of them critically, as Israel's genocide in the besieged enclave continues for a second year. The attack at Al-Aqsa's Marches Hospital in central Gaza's Deir al city in the early hours of Monday hit tents where many displaced Palestinians had been sheltering. Videos showed rescuers scrambling to save people as they struggled to contain a major fire. The death toll is expected to rise further, quote, it is a horror show here. Honestly, sometimes I feel like this is not real life. That this can go on and this degree of suffering is allowed to happen in this world, unquote, said a volunteer.